Tonight's scary is from the Reddit user Deontistic. It offers a subtle glimpse at both the precious fragility of childlike innocence, as well as the nature of the beast that some become. Submitted for your approval, this is Biting Must Be Bad. My earliest memories are of the water bowl, its silvery metallic surface and wide flange. Spike was a heavy drinker too. I used to watch him drink with amazement. Amazement at how much water he could move into his mouth with that big tongue of his. Of course, he was a lot bigger than me, being a pit bull and all. I was a young mutt, at least, that's what the masters always called me. Spike used to snap at me if I tried to drink when he was around, so I'd have to wait until he was finished. He slobbered a lot, too. There was always a film on the surface of the water, but I got used to it. Feeding time was always an anxiety insider as well. If Spike was protective of the water bowl, he was super protective of the food dish. He nipped me hard enough to draw blood on several occasions when I tried to sneak a bite while he was eating. Eventually, the masters got me my own dish, and they'd almost always feed us at the same time. Otherwise, Spike would eat all of his food, and then eat mine. The masters were smart that way. Eventually, I got bigger, and me and Spike, we became better friends. I think it had something to do with the fact that I had grown as much as I had, and could come closer to holding my own. I didn't wait on him to drink anymore either and he didn't snap at me the way he used to. He'd wait his turn, like friends should. He also came to be very protective of me. On the rare occasions we got to go out of the fenced-in yard, we'd come across other dogs. He'd always put himself between me and them, wouldn't let them get close to me. That made me feel good. One day, the female master brought one of her friends over for supper. They ate, laughed a lot, and then they fed Spike. But they didn't feed me. I was confused. So confused I made a huge mistake. Or so it seems now. The lady master's friend reached down toward me, like maybe she meant to pet me, but I didn't know what she was up to because I was confused and really hungry. So, I bit her hand. I bit it hard too, hard enough to draw blood. Then there was a lot of scolding, a lot of apologizing to the lady. And then she left. It was a bad rest of the night. They never did give me my supper. The next day, several policemen showed up with some people from Child Protective Services. The Child Protective Services people took me away, and that night I had to sleep in a strange house in a bedroom with two other children. I'm still confused. I don't like it here. I miss Spike.
Thank mm-hmm. you.